Welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Bill, aka Billy Goat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our 10 to 14 day rolling window schedule. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Carl and Rachel of Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. They've both been a big inspiration for Michelle and I as we get into this uh, husband and wife uh, joint adventure in, in lawn care. And we've learned a lot from, uh, you know, both the, you know, Carl and Rachel and I uh, like to, uh, you know, give them a, a shout out um, of everything that they've, uh, you know, done for for us in the uh, community so please uh, you know check them out and uh, subscribe to uh, their channel and uh, also I want to uh, you know I was lucky to uh, you know have one of the uh, first uh, shirts that they uh, started to uh, you know offer uh, you know their subscribers and uh, you know this is one of the shirts that they sent me it's one of the uh, originals uh, and I'm proud to uh, you know have this shirt and uh, it reminds me you know of the early days when uh, when Michelle and I were uh, you know discussing uh, me going from part-time to you know having her uh, you know work with me full-time so let's get on with the video this uh, video is being recorded at the end of uh, February of uh, 2022 and we need to uh, you know get our uh, mowing uh, schedule uh, in place before uh, April 1st. So if everyone uh, signs up, uh, renews before before the first week of April, uh, we'll have a, a total of uh, 64 uh, routine uh, mowing accounts. Now of the 64, we have uh, a handful of weeklies. Um, most of them will be the uh, 10 to 14 uh, day uh, schedule. And then we also have a uh, 16 uh, accounts that um, that are what we considered uh, call-ins. Uh, some of them uh, might be every three weeks, or um, I think we have one of those that it's uh, um, a monthly cut. So, you know, we'll add them into the uh, schedule um, as they um, call us and uh, need service. I'm a visual uh, person. Um, you know, call it old school, but I like the visual uh, concept. Uh, I like to have the schedule, you know, up on the, uh, you know, these boards. These are dry erase boards with uh, uh, magnetic um, labels on here um, that I can use to, you know, move around accordingly uh, based on the, uh, you know, schedule. Uh, I like the concept because it's uh, like the, uh, the old uh, analog uh, clock. It gives you gives me a, a good sense of uh, time. Um, it's the same thing, you know, with a uh, traditional, uh, you know, wall calendar. So I like to know what's going on, you know, the week of, uh, the week after, and then, uh, you know, two weeks uh, out from there. So we keep it on uh, on a spreadsheet as well on the computer. Um, it's a uh, Microsoft Office, um, the, uh, uh, the Excel uh, spreadsheet. So, and also um, with this uh, schedule here, I can easily uh, print out uh, on the printer and actually have a uh, physical uh, copy uh, as well. I don't want to get in too much uh, detail of the uh, reasons why we do a uh, 10 to 14 day it it actually um, works very well for us um, it's virtually a um, stress-free uh, scheduling process and I got the uh, I actually expanded on uh, Carl and Rachel's uh, they have a uh, not or they used to have a 9 to 12 uh, day uh, schedule I don't know if they still uh, do that um, with some customers, but 
I based the our our schedule uh, based on you know the way that they explain um, their their method of madness uh, when it comes to um, you know having this uh, rolling window uh, concept. So uh, check out. I I put a link in the description of. Uh, them, I asked them a question um, if they could explain, you know, the uh, their nine nine to twelve day process, and uh, you know, please check out their video, and that'll give you a good idea of, uh, you know, how we uh, came up or how I came up with the uh, ten to fourteen day uh, version. I want to explain how the uh, ten to fourteen day uh, process works. Uh, as far as scheduling now like you said we have um, you know if all goes well we'll have 64 uh, you know mowing accounts uh, and for for this video we'll just we'll just uh, an example we'll just say that all our customers are on this uh, 10 to 14 day uh, schedule so um, if you're looking at here um, you have uh, on this spreadsheet here uh, starting um, the first week of April, which is, uh, this is uh, year uh, 2022. So week 14 is actually April 3rd to uh, April 9th. So it starts on a Sunday and then uh, ends on a Saturday. So we can jump from, from week to week. Um, we can go from uh, week 14 to, to week 15 uh, by these tabs down here. And then we can see what's going on uh, next week and then we can you know click on you know week after week um, you know in advance if we have things that are um, you know pre-scheduled now also uh, in here um, you can put in um, you know holidays um, like here uh, you can you know this is uh, uh, Sunday uh, the 10th is actually uh, Palm Sunday and and uh, you know, Good Fridays on uh, the fifteenth there, so you can put these uh, little notes in there uh, as reminders, uh, especially for uh, major holidays. So, if we went to the end of the year, uh, week fifty-two, uh, Christmas is actually on on a, on a Sunday, the twenty-fifth. So, and then the week before, uh, week fifty-one, uh, Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. So really. It's nice this year because technically, um, you know, we got like the whole week before Christmas if we need to take care of any, um, you know, uh, fall cleanups or anything else just before uh, the holidays. So let's go back to um, uh, the 14th here or the 14th week and uh, we'll continue to, uh, you know, go go from there. Back uh, when I first, uh, you know, started working, uh, you know, full time, um, it wasn't in lawn care. You know, I originally, uh, when I was out of high school, I ended up uh, working in um, manufacturing uh, slash printing uh, industry. So, you know, it was more or less uh, production type work and, you know, having meetings with with our you know managers and and you know such they would uh, talk about numbers and you know when you're young you don't really care um half time you'd fall asleep uh, when they start talking financial um you know numbers and and goals and such like that but now that i have my own business uh you know michelle and i have our own business now that you know, a lot of that stuff uh, actually uh, you know makes sense so one of my first uh, manufacturing jobs, you know, I worked as a, um, you know, operator and they would talk about uh, quotas and when they would book these jobs uh, for us, um, they would book them at a, what they would call an 80, 80% 80 capacity. So they know that at the end of the week, um, you can't book yourself, I mean, you can, you could book yourself for 100%. So, you know, if we could sit there and do 10 yards a day, that would equal 50 yards a week. Now, that would be in a in a perfect world, you know, but what are the odds, you know, I mean, especially in lawn care when you have, uh, you know, rain delays or, you know, rain outs or, you know, equipment problems. I mean, it's just a slew of uh, reasons why uh, you can't 
um, complete your list for the week. So what, what you do is you only book yourself for 80%. So if we're able to do 10 yards a day, we're only booking ourselves for um, actual eight jobs as far as a quota. So at the end of the week, uh, we should have no problem uh, taking care of uh, 40 yards. Now, when you talk about you know the uh, end of week goal, goals uh, are m more of a financial uh, thing. So, you know, what what is the price equivalent to 40 yards? Well, if you take the average price per yard, you know, of course, you know we got you know $40 yards, $50 yards, $60 yards, and if you add up, you know, the total um, of each yard and you divide it by how many accounts you have, you get the average. Now, to make it simple, let's say, uh, let me bring up a calculator here. Um, you know, to make it simple, if we had a uh, uh, three yards, you know, so we had a $35 yard uh, plus a $40 yard equals plus a $45 yard. That would equal $120. So each week, you know, if we completed three yards, that's $120. Now, if you divide that by uh, three, three accounts, that equals, um, whoop, that didn't come out right. Let's see, 120 uh, divided by three is $40 uh, per yard. So uh, that's how you know, you get your average uh, per yard. Now, as far as us, um, up here, um, we mainly, we, we should be, uh, we're raising a few prices on, on some customers. So uh, last year we were averaging uh, $48 per yard. Um, now with the increases, uh, we should be, you know, at least 50 uh, or plus uh, per yard. So uh, in this example, um, if we're doing the uh, 40 forty dollars per yard times um, yeah or, uh, 40 yards times the fifty dollars per yard, we should be able to um, as far as uh, income per week uh, pull in uh, two thousand dollars if we complete all 40 yards. Now we're able to do um, 10 yards a day. So realistically, uh, a goal would be if we did 10 yards uh, a day times uh, $50, or no, I'm sorry, the uh, 10 yards a day, yeah, 10 yards a day times $50, we should be able to do you know, $500 per day. And if we did that for five days, we just times that by five and we should be able to, um, you know, for as a goal, we should be able to get uh, $2,500 a week. So, but our quota is, is uh, you know, at least 2,000. Now, if we go over 2,000, um, you know, that's great, but we wanna try to, you know, get that extra, uh, you know, $500, um, you know, per week. So, and that's how, um, you know, how we kind of base our, um, you know, our quota and, um, you know, as far as our financial goal uh, per week. All right, let's get back to the uh, actual schedule. I just wanted to kind of give you like a um, little example of uh, the quota versus, um, you know, the you know, the financial uh, goals for, for each week. I'm not impressed, uh, you know, with, you know, individuals or, or crews or, you know, um, you know, how many yards you do per day. My thing is, is uh, how much income does the, uh, you know, does the business, uh, you know, produce in uh, revenue uh, per day and then, you know, per week, you know, per month, per, per year. So, you know, you could have just one yard, um, you know, if it was a $500 yard, it's, you know, you know, you'd had one yard per day for five days, that's that's $2,500. So, um, you know, so I'm more impressed with the, the financial uh, part of it, not so many, you know, so much you know, how many yards you can, uh, you know, do in, in one day. So uh, moving on here, um, B2 
being a 10 to 14 day uh, cycle, um, the the target um, number uh, for a 10 to 14 is actually 12 days. So what this is here is if we complete uh, this customer's yard, uh, they'll be put back on the schedule in, in 12 days. So what's, um, to make things a little bit uh, less uh, complicated, um, what I'll do is uh, I'll take, I'll highlight all these uh, customers here and I'll put them, I'll change the uh, background color uh, to yellow just to help uh, explain how this uh, works as we, uh, you know, move, uh, as we move the um, customers over um, to uh, put them back for the next scheduled uh, window. So um, I'm going to use yellow. Yellow means um, everybody is on the schedule and they're in the uh, 10 to 14 day window. So everybody is, is you know, far as the schedule wise we shouldn't have any problems all right now we'll we'll just say this is a perfect world and um you know every you know our first week we'll just say our first two weeks uh everything went perfect and only thing we wanted to do was complete our quota and our quota was to you know get everybody done uh the first round of, of mowings uh for the first uh you know the first and you know the first and second week of uh april you know we wanted to get everybody uh you know at least mode and not not do anything extra so um so here if the first day uh we completed all eight yards um i would highlight you know all eight and copy those and i would count over um 12 days so if we go into the, uh, the following week the uh, 12th day actually ends up on a Saturday now we'll just say we're going to run on the light side the first two weeks you know we don't want to uh, work any weekend especially it's uh, um, being uh, um, the um, Easter Easter weekend so we don't want to uh, work that weekend but we will uh, you know we'll work the um, the day before, um, you know, the Good Friday beforehand, we'll try to, you know, mow, you know, a few, you know, yards uh, before the holiday. So we'll schedule uh, uh, those uh, customers that we did um, the past Monday, and we'll put them in for um, the the next Friday there. So uh, so they'll be on the schedule here now. This is the 12th day, this is the 11th, so I'd have to go back and this update and put uh, everybody on the 11th day here, so. Get this done here. And there we go. So now they're scheduled for the, oops, this one here. So now they're scheduled uh, on the 11th day. And it's still going to be yellow because it's in within the, the uh, 10 to 14 day, um, um, you know, window there. So when I go back to the previous week, uh, I can switch all these to say to green. So I'll put those uh, in green so we know that they're complete. So these these uh, these first eight customers are complete. We completed the uh, Monday's uh, route and we're good. Now we go into uh, you know, so pretty much we're we're done for for that for that day. The next day uh, we pick up the next. Uh, eight uh, customers so we get those done we copy those um, and we'll switch them to the the following um, so 12 days from then is actually the Sunday it's actually on 
um, you know, their 12th day had actually fall on, on uh, Easter itself, but we're not going to, you know, work on that Easter, so we would switch them to uh, that Monday, and we would put them uh, for that Monday, and that would actually be the, the 13th day. So we would switch all these, so they're on the 13th day. And so they're on the thirteenth day. We'd go back um, and then put those all in in green, saying that they're complete. And we would just, you know, you know, like you say, this, this doesn't take long. It's just, you know. We only take, you know, a few minutes in either the evening or the morning to, you know, do the next day. So, um, like you say, we'll, we're doing a, um, um, you know, there's no, no problems, no rain, delays, you know, everything's working good. So we just keep, you know, moving uh, the list over and see the next one, uh, 12 days over would actually end up on a Monday. Uh, but since, you know, we already had the 13, um, uh, the first uh, here, uh, people on the, on the, uh, moved them over to the 18th, would move them over to the uh, 19th. And then we would uh, put those as uh, 13 days as well. that one so we knocked out uh, the first three days so we go back to the 14th switch them over um, to uh, whoops I want to insert comment I want to switch these to to green and now we've completed three days. We go to the uh, Thursday the 7th. We were able to knock out all eight for that day as well. So we copy and paste them for the next uh, schedule date. And we switch all of them to 13, to the 13th day. Okay, and then switch all them to green. Uh, let's see, format cells, switch them to green. And then we get to uh, Friday. Um, you can see, then again, we, we got them all done. And we'll, um, you know, copy those and, and move those over. Whoops. What we those over uh, to uh, the 21st and then put them as uh, 13 days All right, so we go back and switch all of these. They're good. And we'll um, change those to green. So the first week of um, 
April, we got we got them all done. So we, we got all 40 done. Uh, like I said, they're a $50 yard, so we made uh, 2000 uh, that first week. And we were able to uh, take off um, the Saturday um, and the, the Sunday. And then we start back up um, on the next uh, on the next week. So we would, you know, this is the first, uh, let's switch those to uh, the uh, yellow because they're all in the 12 uh, mark here. So um, we'll change those to yellow. So when we start off on Monday, um, we'll start with the first uh, eight here. Now, um, we would do the same thing. You would, you know, um, keep moving them over and moving them over. Now this is where to say we did, uh, I won't move them over uh, for this example here, but we'll just say that uh, starting the second week, uh, we did, we did, was able to complete uh, the first three days and we moved them all over uh, to the next scheduled window and we marked these all as, um, you know, complete as green. So we put those as green, right? So they're complete. Now, when we get to Thursday here, see, there's nothing. There's nobody on the schedule. All right. So, and here it's a holiday weekend, um, you know, coming up. So, let's say we didn't want to work, uh, you know, on Good Friday. Well, we're these are 10 to 14 day um, schedule. So, we could actually uh, take this whole uh, group of people and move them to Thursday. Okay, we can move them to Thursday. And let's see, we'll take uh, but no color here. Okay, we can move them to Thursday and it's actually the 10th day. So we put them on the 10th the day because they're within the uh, 10 to 14 day window. And we got them all done. And so we can mark them all as, as uh, complete which is green so we were able to uh, knock out um, you know all um, you know jobs uh, that were on the schedule uh, for that week now here we get you know we have an option here now uh, we still have Friday we could you know could still you know take off on Friday and have a uh, three-day weekend or we could still uh, you know still work uh, this gives us uh, opportunity to uh, you know move things around so you know we could take what was on Monday um, for the following week and we could back them up so you know this would be the 13th day so that'd be the 12th 11 10 and we could take um, you know, Mondays, um, we could take Monday's group and they can be bumped uh, forward um, to that Friday. And that would be their 10th day. So we're always, like you say, we're always trying to, you know, stay ahead of that 14-day mark. So they would be on the 10th. And we are able to get them done. And that's another uh, eight complete uh, for the week. And we were able to do 
um, our quota of 40 and still be able to have, you know, Saturday and uh, Sunday off. So, um, and then that means I moved these, so I gotta, I gotta delete these. Oops. Delete all these customers here and switch that back to uh, no color. So now when we start um, the day after um, Easter, and the Monday's open. So if we wanted to take a four day or to say in this case if we wanted to um, you know go to Sunday into Monday um, we really technically don't have to start until Tuesday um, you know with these because they're still within the window or we could work Monday and move those over so that's that's kind of how the concept of, of this uh, you know schedule works is that we can move customers uh, forward and backwards as long as we're within the um, 10 to 14 day window so I know it was a lot on this video um, I tried to at least explain it you know in a, in a basic form it, it might seem like a lot but really it only takes uh, you know to do 10 or 8 to 10 uh, customers today it only it only takes you know a few minutes to you know move around uh, the customers and, and reschedule them so uh, so in a nutshell that's uh, the basics of uh, the 10 to 14 day so if anyone has any um, you know want to see more uh, on you know different examples when we get into uh, you know how do we uh, do rain days and uh, holidays and uh, other situations uh, where we um, you know how we you know work through that um, I'll be happy to um, you know give examples uh, when we get into you know like Memorial Day or um, you know any other holiday that's you know falls within a week um, but the, the the principle is still still the same so like you say it's it's a uh, a system that that works great for Michelle and I and we always uh, uh, try to um, you know your what you would call your bi-weekly uh, customers that they get done before the, um, you know, before either on or before the uh, 14th day because you don't want to, what they would call, uh, leave money on the table because most of the time when you try to uh, schedule somebody on the 14th day and, and the next thing you know it's a weekend or it's a, you know, rain or holiday and then you're going over the 14 days and then that's when things start to become uh it takes longer to you know to cut the yard and um you know you're still charging the same price and that's where you can get behind uh on your schedule so um this schedule uh really works uh really well for us and uh we've been doing this for um let me see here um We've been doing this schedule for since uh, 2018. So we've been doing it for uh, one, two, three, four. This will be our fifth year uh, doing this uh, type of schedule. So, uh, like you say, if you, anybody has any uh, you know questions or wants me to do any uh, you know specific uh, examples, um, you know how we uh, get through different situations I'll be um, you know happy to answer them or uh, you know do a video on it so until next time uh, to the next video we'll, uh, we'll we'll check you out later see ya